This is an audio description of a pair of vases with candle holders, designed by Jean-Claude Duplessis the Elder and painted by Charles Nicolas Dodin. They were manufactured in soft paste porcelain in France in 1757. King Louis XV became patron of the Serves Porcelain Factory in 1757 at the request of his mistress, Madame de Pompidou. The factory produced pieces that were witty and playful, yet epitomized power and privilege. Expensive to manufacture, the ingenious designs were particularly fragile and could easily break in the kiln. Each enamel color required firing separately at decreasing temperatures. Finally, the pieces were gilded with a mixture of powdered gold and adhesive and fired at the lowest temperature. The vases are shaped like urns, mounted on shallow pedestals with scrolled feet and stand approximately 37 centimeters high. The predominant colors are white and gold with a background of rich blue-green. From the pedestal, the contour of each of these vases swells then slopes towards a narrow neck that is approximately 15 centimeters high. The neck widens slightly towards the top and has a wavy lip. It is decorated with two sculpted elephant heads facing outwards in opposite directions with their ears almost touching. The trunk of each elephant curves down to join the shoulder of the vase, then curves upwards to support two separately fitted candle holders. The candle holders are shaped like flower buds on twisting stems that emerge from sprays of leaves. The elephant heads are white and decorated with meticulous detail. Their eyes are elongated, with fleshy pink tone painted onto the eyelids. This color is also used to portray the inside of their open mouths. They have golden tusks, and many gold lines emphasize the wrinkles on their trunks. In their large ears, hairs are represented with tiny gilded strokes. Curved white sections below the animal's heads suggest the front of their bodies. Framing these sections, double rows of oval white beads molded on the surface are suspended from behind their ears and loop down below their trunks. The outer rows of beads stand out against a blue-green background. Below the beads, White areas known as reserves, curved at the top and narrowing towards an arch at the base, encircle the circumference of the vases. They have the illusion of cut-out shapes, edged with gold and displaying scenes and garlands of flowers. The largest reserves are at the front and back. In these, there are scenes inspired by prints based on the paintings of Francois Bouchner. They are slightly varied, but each displays two chubby cherubs, holding objects that symbolize love. They cavort on brightly lit clouds. In one scene, the cherub on the left reaches across to touch his companion gently on the knee as they whisper together. In his left hand, he holds a flaming torch. He wears a crown of flowers on his golden hair. A length of yellow silk swathed across his left shoulder catches the breeze and floats out behind him. His companion, points with his finger into the distance. Symmetrically spaced on each side of the two large reserves are three narrower reserves. They depict festoons of flowers, including roses, anemones, and morning glory, painted in minute detail. Surrounding the reserves are flowing patterns of delicate feathery leaves and flowers that shimmer against the blue-green of the background. Serves porcelain often had a dual function, as illustrated by these pieces, that are not only vases, but also candle holders. Their purpose, together with highly ornate and inventive decoration, would have made them desirable objects to be admired by candlelight in the salons of the aristocracy. <laughs> <laughs>